This video will cover the topic finding a polynomial of a given degree with given zeros, real zeros. Let's first review what a zero of a function is. A zero of a function is a value for x that when substituted in a function, it outputs a y value of zero. When the zeros of a polynomial are given to us and we need to find the corresponding polynomial, we use those zeros to find the factors of the polynomial. By multiplying these factors together, we get the desired polynomial. Let's try an example. This problem is asking us to find a polynomial with a degree of 3 that has zeros of 3, 0, and negative 9, and we are told to leave our answer in factored form. What does it mean when a function has a degree of 3? The degree of a polynomial is the highest power of x when the polynomial is expressed in its unfactored form. For example, quadratic functions are polynomials of degree 2, since the largest x term is x squared. In other words, the largest power of x is 2. Since our polynomial will have a degree of 3, the largest x term should be x cubed when written in its unfactored form. Before we start to find this polynomial, it's important to review the factor theorem. The factor theorem states that a number c is a zero of a polynomial if and only if x minus c is a factor of the polynomial. Using this theorem, we can evaluate the different factors of our polynomial. First, using the zero of three, we find that the corresponding factor for it is x minus three. Next, using the zero of zero, we find that the corresponding factor is x minus zero, or simply x. Finally, using the zero of negative nine, we find that the corresponding factor is x minus negative nine, or x plus nine. Now that we have the three factors for our polynomial, we can put them all together to create our polynomial of y equals x minus three times x times x plus nine. How do we check to see if the degree of this function is equal to three? We can check the degree of the function by multiplying our factors together and finding the highest power of x. Multiplying out our factored polynomial, we get an equation equal to x cubed plus 6x squared minus 27x. The highest power that x is raised to in this equation is 3, which means our polynomial has a degree of 3, which is what our problem was asking for. Okay, so just to make sure I am getting this right, to find a polynomial of a given degree with given zeros, we can use the factor theorem to find the corresponding factor for each of the zeros of our function. We can check the degree of our function by expressing our function in its unfactored form and checking to see if the highest power of x is equal to the degree of the function. That all sounds right. It sounds like you've really mastered this topic. 